In this video, we're going to take a closer look at parametric features and how we can control updating in this software by modifying values and having that carry through our history tree and our design intelligence. So here we're basically looking at design for change. Here I have the parametric features IPT from our working files directory, and I'm just going to examine what I have here currently. So I'm going to go to my model browser on the left hand side of my screen. I'll expand this down. I see I have sketch one which has some values to it. I also have a fillet on here, which is controlling my fillet sizing, it looks like. So I'm gonna activate sketch one. Now I can do that by double clicking on it. If I wanna make some changes here, I can do that very quickly by double clicking on a dimension. Here it's two and a half inches. I'm gonna make this four and a half inches. Quick and easy change. Also update the size of the slot. I actually have a equation in this one. Right now it's 0.85 minus 0.5 inch to give me that value. So you can actually do some math in here to help you get a better value that you want returned into your software. For me, I just wanna have this be exactly 0.625 inches on that sizing. Once you've finished making your changes, you can right click and say finish sketch. As you notice there, this is not a vector-based software. This is a geometry or dimension driven software. So as I change dimensions, it's gonna update my geometry based on that. Had this been a program like AutoCAD, where you have very basic primitive vector-based tools, you're basically doing copies and moves and stretches in order to accomplish similar things. Here, I just need to change the value. It's much simpler. Here, I basically have rules that control it, and I can tell that to update the value to update my geometry. So let's make a few more changes. Maybe I wanna change the value on that again. Maybe I wanna put it into an equation form. If I right-click on extrusion two, here I can do a show dimensions. This will show me all the dimensions for the sketch as well as my dimensions for the extrusion that was created. So not only do I get that four and a half, the five eighths of an inch, but I'm also getting the values for the thickness. So here I have it being 0.15 right now. If I double click on this, I can change my extrusion depth. Now each dimension that I get created has a dimensional placeholder. So here I have D23 as my dimensional placeholder. If I wanted to, I can rename that to something else. I could also use an equation in here in this form if I wanted to as well. These are all things we're gonna experience in this course. For now, I'm just gonna change the value here to 0.25. I'll hit enter. I see the value updates, but it has not yet updated the model geometry. Whenever you use show dimensions, again, that's something that's just always gonna to have to be forcibly updated. And we can do that by clicking on the lightning bolt at the top of the screen for local update, so I can see the change taking place. Now, when that got larger, I would also like my fillets to adjust based on that. I'm going to double click on my fillet one here on the left-hand side. It takes me into the fillet dialog box, and I can see I have a radius value of 0.03125 right now for this radius. You can change the value here, or if you like using dialog boxes, you can expand that out and change the value up here. I like using this mini toolbar though. So I wanna make this equal to that new thickness value divided by four, let's say. D23 divided by four. Now this uses that D placeholder that I have there. And again, it'd be nice if I could rename that to something else, but that's something that we will experience in the course. For now, just know that we're doing a parametric change and approve this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the green check mark. And now I have my fillets updating the way I want them to. If I were to go back and change my dimension here from 0.25 to something smaller, let's say 0.125, my fillets should not adversely be affected. They should still scale down to be a fourth of that size. So I'll go ahead and hit the update button in the upper left again. And my fillets are still very much valid. So this has been a little bit closer look at parametric features inside of Autodesk Inventor, how you can link things together, and how you can use dimensional changes to make model geometry adjustments.